Coach Pilardi here. Today we're going to talk about CAD. This is the first in a series of lessons that will teach you CAD for Vex Robotics using Onshape. We're going to start out by creating an Onshape account. Then we're going to open an existing project in Onshape. We're going to navigate around inside the project. And we're going to make our own copy of the project or workspace as they call it in Onshape. So before we create your Onshape account, let's talk about why you would want to use CAD. Uh, so CAD is a great skill to learn. If you end up doing any type of design work after you graduate, chances are you're going to use a tool similar to CAD or CAD to design cars or if you're an architect to design buildings. Um, even deck builders would use that, city planners would use that, even designers of of games, computer games, uh, would use a CAD-like tool to develop uh, a virtual 3D environment. So there's a lot of things you could use CAD skills for later on in life. But we don't need to look that far ahead today. We just want to use CAD for VEX. Once you get good at CAD, it's much easier to develop a robot design than it is just building something and trial and error through, through building. Have you ever heard of Robot in Three Days or RI3D? That's where a team builds a robot in three days. They have three days to come up with a working robot. And uh, every year when the new game comes out, there's a lot of teams that come up with a robot in three days. It's just their idea of what a robot could do with the new game. There's also something called CAD in three hours. After they come up with a new game, teams that have someone that's good at CAD will try and design a robot in CAD within three hours. So robot in three days, the unit of measurement is days. If you know how to do CAD, the unit of measurement is hours. If you have an idea, it's much easier to come up with your initial design using CAD than it is by trying to build a real robot. If you're familiar with building robots and using your own designs, then you know it takes a lot of tries before you get something right, and we call those iterations. So you might go through 10 or 12 different iterations before you get something to work. If you start off by building a CAD model first, it's going to uh, it's going to reduce the number of iterations, and it's much quicker to do an iteration in CAD than it is in building an actual robot. So that's another reason why you would use CAD for VEX. If you're good at CAD, it's much easier to explain your ideas as well. I don't know how many times I've talked to somebody and they're trying to explain an idea that they have, and I just don't understand what they're they're trying to do. Uh, you probably had a teammate like that too and it might be a great idea they just have trouble expressing it and especially if you're not good at drawing by hand and of course if you're good at CAD you can print off your designs and put them in your notebook and judges love to see that sort of stuff so that's why you would use CAD for robotics but why would you use Onshape there's a lot of different CAD packages out there why do we decide to use Onshape well the main reason is that it's a web based product so there really is no install um, other products that I've used, the packages have a big install, and I have very few students that actually get past the install. With Onshape, well, we're going we're gonna to install Onshape right now, and it's only going to take a couple minutes. The hardware requirements are lighter for Onshape, too. You don't need a specialized desktop to, uh, to run Onshape. You can run on just about any laptop. Um, it runs on Macs. It even runs on iPads, and you can run it on your phone, too. Onshape is also easy to learn, and that makes it most suitable for VEX. In VEX, you, you do a lot of connecting parts, and Onshape is really easy at connecting parts. So Onshape is a good match for VEX. And last of all, it's free. Most of the packages have um, educational licenses, uh, but you have to go through a lot of hoops to get these special licenses, and then you have to keep renewing them. With Onshape, it's really easy. So let's see how we create an Onshape account. First, you're going to need to go to the Onshape website. The address is onshape, O-N-S-H-A-P-E, dot com, slash edu. Once you get there, the screen should look like this. Press the button here that says Create Free Account. Once you press that, you're going to enter your name. Let's create and most of you are going to be students. If you're an educator, you would select educator. I'm going to set this up as a grade school account. 
I say I agree to that. Um, if you're a student, you should use your student email account. Use your real name for this. Um, I already have an account, so I can't recreate it. Um, put your school name here. You'll need to know your school website and your graduation year. Um, if you're under 13, um, talk to your mom and dad, and they're going to fill this out with you, or if you're at school, with your teacher. Check all these boxes. It's kind of funny that I'm not a robot. Okay, so it's going to send an email to that address that you put in there. Okay, your turn. First, pause the video, then navigate to onshape.com slash edu, uh, create the free account, fill out the first step of the form, then press the create edu account button, then fill out the second step of the form, press the create account button one more time, and then wait for your email acknowledgement. All right, you should have received that email. Let's take a look at it. Press that button in the middle that says activate your account. That's gonna take me back to Onshape and it's gonna ask some more questions. It's gonna ask for a password. Now I'm gonna check this box to agree to the terms and get started. The first time you log in, you're going to need to set your default units. Um, in VEX, we use inches, so that's pretty easy. Press next. Then it's gonna ask you if you wanna change the way the mouse buttons work. I think you should just press next unless you're used to using some other CAD package. Now enter your name. Please use your real name or something close to your real name so when I get messages within Onshape from you, I know who you are. Then it's going to check your browser. Hopefully everything's okay. If it's not, uh, if you get some sort of error here, you might need to talk to your coach, your teacher, um, and we'll probably have to send you to IT to get that fixed. It's all good. Then just press done. Okay, your turn again. Pause the video. Click on that activate account link in the email message. Enter a password and then press get started. Press next to accept the default units. Press next again to accept the default mouse controls. Set up your profile using your real name. Complete the browser test and then press done. Okay, so now we're logged into Onshape. If your screen is empty like mine is right here, that means you're not a member of any team. If your coach or somebody expected you to set up an Onshape account, then they might have added you to a team and you'll see some additional things. All right, you did it. You're an Onshape user. Got your account. Done with level one. You're ready for level two.